do you want to start your agency and you want a website for a digital marketing agency so i think this video will help you for you in this video i'm gonna show you how to create this type of digital marketing agency website using some free plugins and h2 elementor pro page builder just you have to purchase the elementor from the description i already give the elementor from in the description so just purchase it and then use it and i'll use any just free plugins i will just know use any paid plugins or something and everything is easy to use and customizable everything is editable here you can see this is the all just website so if i'm just reloading the page again so we'll see the smooth animations will come so if i'm reloading this page you can see here this is smooth animations will come by just parallax effect or something this is the hover effects or line sections and this is the get in touch contact sections and something just is the scroll bar section footer set that's it so in this video I'll show you how to create it from scratch. Here I no use any premium blocks. Just I'll no just use it from handmade. So welcome back to a brand new video. I am Soma from the Creative Academy. And at first I just show you how to just install the theme and plugins. After installing WordPress, you just see this type of just dashboard dashboard. Just this, this web dashboard, just go to the screen options and just disable these things except this idle status and this activity. Just disable all the things, just uncheck this, this, all the things so it will look so, so clean and clear. So just understand, look, look to understand good. That's it. And then just go to the appearance, go to the themes and search for go to this the add new button. Just click on this add new button and search for Astra. So if you search for Astra, so you can just see this type of astra theme just install it and activate it install just activate then go to the plugin section and this is the add new so after go to the plugin section just search for elementor if you search for elementor then you can see this type of elementor website builder just go to the active install it and activate it then download go to keep the download and the elementor pro from the description then just upload it in the this type of upload plugin here then just install this plugin this is the most important and popular plugin this is essential add-ons for Elementor. Just install it and activate it. So I already installed and activated it. So I'm just closing this tab. And here you can see that this type of just heading. So if I'm just for example, if I'm just changing the color from here, just you can see here this is a changing by color from easily. So that's it. Then that's why change the color. So I'm just I don't want to change the color. So so that's it the color. That's it. Then just update it so at first i'm just creating one new page and then i'll show you how to create it so just creating the new page marketing agency website i'm just writing this title then disable this title then layout i'm just simply go to the stress layout and just publish it then you can see this is a cool button edit with elementor just click on it and go to the elementor dashboard here we can go we'll you'll see that elementor dashboard here you go this came then just go to the click on the settings you can see here click on the settings and choose elementor canvas to get all the full features of the from header to footer everything this just update it then to change the preview just click on this to what the changes you can you just work you can see here by live without reloading the page that's it and then at first we have to create this type of heading with this type of buttons hover effect and this type of just underline not it's not underlying it's a border border bottom i'll show you how to create it so at first just create the heading from here and this is the text this is not logo i just my you just place the your logo as my i'm just using in text so as you wish so at first i'm just giving the just giving the text column size from 20 pixel and then again the button column size will be 20 pixel and go to the plus icon and just i'm searching for button so just sorry just searching for text heading means text means heading so i'm just pressing heading here and write our brand logo decorate and then just try just giving the color so i'm already added a color global color that is this type of color orange color just this type of color i'm just already added it and then just choosing my poppins font favorite fonts poppins font then just increasing the font weight and the size will be 45 pixel and reducing this size to 40 pixel and at first just click on this six dot icon put the advanced tab unbind this sorry bind this padding and then just 
giving 10 pixel padding and go to the plus icon and search for nav menu i'm just creating the it is the elementor pro feature just click on drag and drop it from here i already created menu if you don't know how to create menu so just let me show you how to create just simply so go to the appearance and go to the menus so if you see that this type of menus if you want to create new menu here just click on this new menu just click on this new menu and just click just give the new name like primary menu menu anything and then just create menu and then click create view all and add the pages that's it that's like we have just i'm just added the menu so just i'm giving the margin so pointer will be i don't want to pointer so i'm just giving none and alignment given the center and style will be this type of pop-ins font and then the pop-ins have the font weight to this and the color so color will be this type of blacks color and then if i'm hovering so i'm just giving to the new global color and then active color will be also this color that's it here you can see that it is came then go to the plus icon and searching for button so so this is the buttons and if you just drag and drop it here and then here you can see this type of all things so just i'm just writing contact us contact us so go to the style tab and just giving the element right and go to the style tab and this is the text color so text color will be here you can see this sorry here you can see the text color is simply white and the background is this type of just opacity so giving the text color to pure white and then the background color so background color will be this color and opacity will be some decrease the opacity little bit decreased and then go to the hover section i'm just giving the background color this i'm hovering so it will come and then i'm just adding one hover animation that is this type of anything just i'm just giving to the bob that's it if you just writing here you can see this is dancing so i'm just giving the float anything which you can choose so the animation will next this looks your website to just another level so that's it just we add animation so i'm just giving the text to the link so just giving the text link to here this is the logo i'm just linking the logo from here and one important thing that is the go to the just mean setting section and go to the permalinks here you can just choose already always choose post name that's clicking on this and then just save changes that's it so then you have to just create this type of so you have to create this type of just panel section anything anything i say so this type of banner section and the, here you can see this is the not image that this is one css trick or you can just see elementary tips and tricks so just i will show you how to create that so just create at first just create this type of headings with animations here you can see this the text is changing by second by second this change is changing smoothly fading up and fading down that's it so how to create that just click on this plus icon and click on the three dot and go to the advanced tab and padding will be 80 pixel top padding and bottom will be 80 pixel and go to the plus icon sorry i'm just giving the padding top to 50 pixel and then just click on the plus icon and already how to create the heading so i'm just don't want to create the heading from here so just just click on the inner section from here and just paste it i'm just pasting it and then here you can see this is the text so how to create the text this type of text how to create so to create this this type of text just click i'm just I'm already just already make it so i don't want to just delete that just click on the plus icon and searching for fancy text if you search for fancy text you can see here this is the essential add-ons add-ons feature so i already show you how to just install it and this is the previous plugin that i that say that it is the premium important plugin which is the plugin that is this is the plugin features that is fancy text just drag and drop it from here here you can see this type of just text so just i'm just deleting prefix and i'm deleting the suffix and then add it from here here you can just add this type of things so just go to the style tab go to the style tab and text color don't, don't change the prefix text because i want this only fancy text so i'm just changing the text color from this color new global color here you can see that and then typography will be that pop in strap font so i'm just using popping fonts here you can see this is came and just increasing the size to 45 pixel that's it this is came 
that's the way I'm just creating this type of the things and the changing this 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 type of smooth um, effect. So just go to the, the content and go to the fancy text and here you can see this this typing. So this typing is effectively actually made by JavaScript, but uh, in this in this just 2021 all is made by Elementor. That's it. And that's creating the fading down. Just choose fading down. Here you can see this is fading down, which I choose. So that's the way I'm just making it. So I'm just editing it. And then you can see this is the text editor. So I don't want to just changing anything because text editor I, you also know that I'm just click on this and just listen the text editor from here. This is so easy to use. So I'm just changing this and then I'm just copying this because I'll to show you how to create that. So I'm just editing this again and then this is the email address. So how to create that? Just put the six dot icon and so I'm just placing the inner section from here and I'm just duplicating it and then go to the plus icon and searching for WP form. So how to create WP forms? Now come to the question how to install the WP form. It is free or paid? So don't worry, it is free. I'm just showing you how to just install WP form. It is WordPress default form. So you just don't know any pie or anything. Just search for WP form. Here you can see these are WP forms. Just install it and activate it. After activating it, you can see this type of WP forms here and go to the all forms. Here you can see this type of dashboard so just go to the add new section to add new a form and also i am already created form go to the blank form here you can see this type of forms so this is just only emails i add so i'll show you how to create the names or emails or phone number anything all the things so just write in it for primary form if i search or if i create primary form sorry form if i create primary form and create a blank form and then you can see this type of dashboard is came then just it is looking like so just difficult but don't worry it is so easy to use just just drag and drop it features as usual just like elementor so if you just put the name just drag and drop the name here here you can see this is name and this is the first name last name anything just which i may add the email so just drag and drop the email here here you can see this is the image came that's it and just save it after saving it i mean that i don't want to save it because i already created blank form there so after saving it just click on the plus icon and search for w forms after creating it you can see this type of three forms so just i am choosing elementary add-ons form because it is so customizable and editable but these two forms are not like that so i'm just placing the just this type of essential add-ons features from here and searching for the w form which i'm created the blank form that's it and you can choose the primary form which I already show you how to create that. I'm just uh, displaying the title and all that just description. So that's it. And just go to the placeholder. So placeholder is nothing to change. That's it, right? And then just customization. Go to the customization. You can go to the style tab and put text area. You can just change the Azure choice. Oh, so just time I'm just changing the sub. Uh, this is the type of sub submit button uh, color. So just changing the submit button color from here and background color. And this is the text color if I'm hovering so the background color will be this type of colors this type of colors and text color will be this type of colors I'm hovering here you can see that this is change so how you can customize that's it so I'm just already created that so I'm just already so I don't want to just repeat again so just duplicate and just paste it here you can see this is came so how to create this type of full bar with so just click on this go to the style tab and go to the submit button here you can see this is full width sorry this is full width this is the custom if i'm just click custom here you can see this is right left or anything this is center and this is the of alignment left anything so you can just choose as your choice but i'm just choosing full width to create just that's it and just update it then after don't want to just reload, reload this page because i already just i already tell you because if you click on preview changes you have to don't reload this page again and again it's already reloaded after you update click on this update button and don't forget this to update your page because you lost your all works that's time just then you have to create this type of sections this sorry it is image sections this is all the image so i'm just placing the image from here and just changing the image so this is the image i think so which is the image oh so it is the image here you can see this is came and just update it automatically update this page here you can see this is the image is came 
and then you have to create this type of footer this type of image cursor section so this you can see that i am just the moment just changing the this type of logos by scrolling the just slightly scrolling by my mouse so how to create that just click on the risk icon and search for image cursor so if you search for image so you can see that this type of image cursor will look already everything so just some um, just place the image cursor from here and then first just click on this three dot icon and go to the advanced tab and top will be i'm giving to 50 pixel and bottom will be 50 pixel and then just go to the layout and sorry click on this and then this is the images so i'm just using the images from here the company logo images and then just create new gallery and insert gallery here you can see this is came and just i don't want to just add the this type of arrow button or anything so i just disable this so to create then disable that just go to the just image carousel section and then you can see that this type of arrow dots navigation this type of navigation and arrow dots so i'm just deciding to disable it just creating none here you can see this is came and slide show will be i'm just giving it to five and slide scroll will be giving it to five that's it and then go to the style tab and just giving alignment to then like this or you can just nothing change that's it and just update it after updating this page it will automatically load it and here you can see this is came so i'm just smoothly scroll by my mouse and that's it this came so next we have to create this type of section so to create that at first just i'm already create the heading so just i mean just using one structure and just create it and go to the reference type and padding will be 80 pixel and bottom will be 80 pixel i'll already show you how to create this type of headings so i don't want to repeat again i already created the heading from here so i'm just copying the heading from here and you do if you just want don't watch any if you only if you just only watch my this video so please watch these previous videos so and i already just show you how to create this type of text heading menus and with pretty by um, just waves so just please watch pre previous videos so we'll get more idea about that i'm just just you can see here this is the icon box section this is the icon box sections with some border radius with this type of gray colors border so how to create that just click on these sections and just placing on inner section here sorry placing on inner section here and then go to the plus icon and search for icon box if i search for icon box just place the icon box from here and you can see that this icon position just click on this left and then i'm searching for frame that's it you can see here this came then go to the icon library and search for anything chart so just keeping the chart bar from here here you can just change the size icon size from here so i'm just changing the size from here if i'm just changing the size from the, and increasing the size from here so i'm just giving it to 30 pixel sorry 25 pixel and this is the primary color i'm just changing the color from here and you can see that this of this type of heading content just click on this content section to customize the content heading like that and i'm just changing the color to this and just changing the color to black and the description also i'm changing the black and just the typography from here so how it is the way to change the typography and the changes so just duplicate it and then again you can see that this game just click on this and go to the advanced tab and padding will be 20 pixel and just click on this and go to the border section here you can see this type of border so click on this solid and i'm just choosing width one and the color will be this type of grayish color that's it and the border radius will be 10 pixel if i'm just updating this page after updating this here you can see that this type of just gray color light gray color with the border radius will came is came so now we have to create just one duplicated it and create one more sections one more this type of icon box so i already created this type of icon box from the first so i'm just copying it i already show you how to create this type of box here so i'm just deleting it here and just duplicating it and here you can see this type of animation just click on this and go to the advanced tab and this is the motion effect so this is the fading up motions so just after after just finishing all the things i'll show you how to create and just add the motion effects for all the things then you have to create this type of sections this so easy to use this type of two column section that is this type of first column and this type of second column so how to create that just click on the plus icon and from here and you can choose from also you can just choose from two column structure or you can add another structure from adding this type of 
ruby scale icon from here so i'm just already just creating plus icon and here you can see this type of headings and this is the icon list if i'm just showing you just click on the plus icon and search for icon list so here you can see this is the icon list just place it from here and just changing the text from here if i'm just changing in lower m so you can see here this is thing that's it and just go to the style tab go to the icon and this type of change here you can see that so to change the icon just click on this and changing the icon from here if you just click just write this type of check here you can see this type of check here and go to the style tab and go to the icon to the increase decrease the size from here so that's it how i make this type of just icon list and here you can see this type of hover animations i already show you how to create this type of buttons and this is the box shadow let me show you how to create this type of box shadow so i already created this type of these sections so i'm just copying it from here and pasting these sections and deleting this and this type of box shadow how to create that and click on this and just go to the style tab here you can see this is the box shadow just click on this and in disk increase decrease this of colors and here you can manage as you wish and i'm just giving the blur and this all the things spread and this vertical anything so i am just choose my as my wish so you can choose as your requirement of choice that's it and the animation hover animation is this hover animation is right here if you click on hover so you can see here this is the hover animation float thing bob anything just update it i'm just updating it because i will show you how to create that and this type of just section is came here and then you have to create this section so this this section is as similar 99 percent similar as same so already i don't want to repeat again i'm just already just already created so i'm just pasting it because it is just so similar to use so then i have to create we have to create this type of plan section pricing plan section so i go to the plus section and this type of plus section and go to the six dot icon go to the advanced tab unbind this and top will be 80 pixel bottom will be 80 pixel go to the plus icon and just placing the inner section from here and then duplicate it let me just explain how to do just uh, why i duplicate it because if i'm just pressing the pricing section so only one pricing section will be just placed from here if i just choose duplicate section from three dot or three section or two section so i they want just create a starter plan medium plan and higher plan just click on the plus icon and if you are searching for pricing section here you can see this price table here you can see this price table i already just show you this is the essential add-on features that is ea this is most important plugin i already just i am just using this plugin features that is pricing table just place it from here here you can see this all came don't wanna just can do anything this all is came and here i use you can see here this type of just um, this type of this color brand color is here i just use it by only using small cases i will show you how to create that so just click on this pricing table section and go to the button and here you can see background color is this type of background color here you can see and go to the hover section so i'm just decreasing this color to this and then go to the hover section and giving the color to this here you can see this is came and just update it so how just you just in the this type of text to go to the content and here you can see this type of pricing sections you can just writing anything just price for the price and this type of features you can just change change anything text and buttons text and anything just ribbon anything you as you wish so already so you just make this price pricing section so and this type of titles i will need to show you how to create that this is so easy to you just create so i'm just copying this and just paste it from here because i already show you so just pasting it and deleted it and then just sorry you can see here this is color so i'm just copying it again i don't know why it is happening oh i just don't, don't just use any the this type of just css so that's why just it is happening so i'm just already just um, writing css from here so i'm just copying it and then just deleting it deleting it and then again paste it from first so it is came then you can see this is the green color so green color icon so how to just change it from by using custom css 
so just i'll let me show you just click on just go to the mouse just just hover on the mouse icon um, hover the mouse on the icon just just right click on it and just inspect it and then you can see this type of icon section so just right color if you search for color and if you just choose the color from here if you just click on this and just i'm choosing the color from here so i'm just giving go to the buttons and just i'm copying the color from here you can just choose by this html color pickers or anything so how to just create it and go to this just click on this and color and write for this that's it here you can see that this is changed and just copy this text from here and sorry here this copy this whole text this table from here to here this point to this type of second note back second bracket just copy this and then go to this go to the click on this and go to the advanced section and go to the custom CSS here you can see this is change so just i'm pasting it here you can see this is change so how we create this type of just segment just icon color section by using some cis code that's it so then you have to just create this type of team member section so how to create that it is also so easy so just let me show you just create and just creating one structure and click on the three dot button padding and top will be 80 pixel bottom will be 80 pixel click on the plus icon and again i'm saying that choose inner section because if i'm just click on team member section so i'll just my have to use one team member section because it is inner section is from one section that's it and just i'm duplicating it and then again duplicating it because i want four team member section click on the plus icon and searching for team member here you can see this is again this is essential add-on features that is team member i already just tell you this is most important plugin you will need need this plugin so this is free plugins and but this is free but this features is just awesome just drag and drop this here you can see this is game all the things and then just team member content and go to the style tab the must image style and color typography anything you can just change it right from here and here you can just changing the icon size anything and here you can just change the image from here if i'm just changing this type of images so i'm just changing these images from here here you can see this is a change if i'm just go to the advanced tab and giving the padding 20 pixel padding from here and the border go to the border and border will be solid and width will be one and the color will be this type of color and in decreasing this color to this and border radius will be 5 pixel that's it and just update it well just uh, after loading space here you can see sorry just loading space again here you can see this is type of just pricing section is came here you can see the team member section is came because i already show you how to create this type of just title and anything so i'll just skip this and already created this so I'm just copying this from here and paste it because i'll just show you just create how to create the heading and how to create this type of team member section so i'm just sorry deleting it so again i'm just copying it from here and pasting it here you can see this is came so next we have to just create this type of get intersection and this type of mail so how to just create this i already show you in the first as i create the logo so i just forgot the just create the border radius so how to create that border and border radius border from here so just click on click on this and go to the border sorry click on this section go to the style tab here you can see this is the border and then just choosing border radius this is the bottom border radius just choosing but only bottom sorry unbind at first unbind this you can see this is the bind i'm just writing all the border should be came but i don't want that just i'm unbind this and only bottom will be one and then this the border radius will be solid width will be one sorry this table this is border radius just deleting it and here you can see this the unbind so i'm still deleting it and then again unbind this and bottom will be only one one pixel one width button so i'm choosing the color from here and decreasing this color like this so that's it and just update it after loading this page you can see this is the border border bottom border this came then just we have to just create this type of get intersection i already show you how to create that 
in the w form also i'm just so let me just i will show you how to create this type of headings anything so just let me just paste it sorry let me just paste it again that's it this came and then again this type of footer section here this footer section so it is easy to use uh, let me show you how to just create it at first just create the select on structure and go to the three dot section i go to the reference tab and top will be 10 pixel bottom will be 10 pixel go to the style tab and background color background color will be this type of colors and just decreasing this color from here and then just go to the text editor section and just place it so i'm just already just created so i'm just just copy this text and then again just paste it here you can see this came put the style type and giving the center and text color will be this type of text color and typography will be popping typography with some font weight and the size will be i'm just increasing to 25 pixel that is so big right so i'm just giving the size to 18 pixel and font weight will be 400 sorry 300 is fine right 300 is fine then go to the advanced type and when this padding and margin and bottom will be minus 15 pixel minus 15 pixel so minus 15 pixel sorry is going to positive so just giving to minus 15 pixel minus 15 pixel uh, giving it to 30 pixel that's it and just update uh, before update it just increasing the text size to this 15 pixel that's it just then update it just up. finally after editing this page here you can see this is change so here you can see that if i'm just click on about us so here is nothing to change but if i'm just showing you at first if i'm just clicking just about us so it is smooth to jump over section so how to create that at first just creating this type of just section at first then in the header section this type of gray color this type of colors so how to create this click on this section go to the style tab and choosing background gradient color and this is the second color so i'm just placing the color from sorry placing the text so i'm just choosing the color from html color picker so this type of colors i'm just copying this here you can just paste it so after pasting it here you can see this is nothing and after just i'm giving this and you can see this white color so you can see this type of gradient color here so how to just setting this just location give the location this and give the location from this and then again angle change the angle from here here you can change the angle and then again just location so i'm giving you location this and location give it to just full or like this 80 that's it and then again you can see that it is came and then again go to the save divider and right choose the bottom and i'm just changing the waves so just you can see here this wave see this is came so also you just control this type of width this type of height anything i'm just giving the width from here so just giving the height and then again with giving the width so that's it this came and just update it so after you do this page here you can see this type of just gradient just color section is came then i so sorry just giving it to just background and just giving it to this location to 100 sorry not 100 90 90 and let's look fine then let me show you how to just add this type of just click on this after after i click on this about us this in the jump over to the team member section so to create that we have to change on the menu so just just increase this menu and here you can see this is the url just url just write the url text from here and copy this exactly just write has then text the write the text then just copy this this text then go to the edit section and elevator dashboard and if you just click on this click on the sorry click on this section click on this section and go to the advanced tab and then you can see that this is css id so we have to just paste the same css id which we write in the menu in the about us about except has just pasted this exactly same as same just then update it 
and just again save the menu after loading this page here you can just if i just click on this orders so it will smoothly come to the mid team member section that's we just that's i that's the way so i just created the jamafa section uh, just except you just click on this just menu text so it will redirect to the another page except this if you just created this jump over section like this it will smoothly just come to the jump over section it just looks more so cool than the uh, creating the another page that's the tricks so and you can see at last you can see this is the scroll bar so scroll to top so how to just install it let me show you let me show you the plugin don't worry it is also free plugin i'm just using only elementor pro this is paid but i mm, just use free plugins at all so i'm just searching for two top means scroll top if i'm just searching for two top so here you can see this is two top is plugin is game so it is so simple to use the, so I just install this plugin just install and activate it then after activating it here you can just then here you can just see this we may see that this all things just click on these two top settings and just increase this icon settings and just using the color from here here you can change anything anything color from here I'm just writing anything so here you can just change this color from here and then i'm just giving the border days from this and you can change the icon size also I'm just giving to 35 and then again save changes then automatically the in the website you will see that after scrolling this you'll see this this type of scroll bar section is from here so that's the video how just you created the marketing agency for your new startup or anything so how you created this type of these things just install the Elementor, Elementor Pro and download the Elementor Pro from description and then just install the some free plugins and after seeing my tutorial you just okay, you can get, do it so if you like this tutorial so just give the big thumbs up and if you want to more videos like this Elementor or startups anything just comment down below as your topic I will try to make on your topic so see you in the next video till then bye bye and thanks for watching